What's up guys, this is Trav, and we are back again to try something else for you. How is the $10 Tastemaker deal from Pizza Hut? We're about to find out. Here we go guys, this is the $10 Tastemaker from Pizza Hut. You got the seal of approval here, sealed at the hut, opened by you. Nice seal there. We're gonna open it up. See what it's like. All right, let's get the full reveal on this. Oh yeah, look at that guys. Got a pepperoni pizza with bacon and bell peppers. I got the three toppings for the $10 taste maker. It's actually a pretty decent deal. I got the Parmesan crust for no extra charge. That's really nice. You can get all sorts of different crusts. And you know, let's see how this actually is because it's gonna be the taste. That's gonna matter. This is the piece that I was excited about. It's really sloppy, but um, <laughs> make that hold that there. Um, bell peppers, pepperoni, and bacon. Um, that's just that's just what I like. That's the thing with the taste makers. You can get whatever you want. Um, three toppings. Before we get into this, let's see what Poppy eats over there thinks about this deal. He makes some valid points. Pizza Hut's new, new, the taste maker. What they've done is take their previous $7.99 carryout deal, which used to be two toppings on a large pizza, and then became three toppings on a large pizza. They've taken this from $8 to $10, giving it a fun name, uh, and they're mailing out tastemaker calendars to the first 600 people who ordered it yesterday. That's the promotion. That's the tastemaker. In a time where Pizza Hut is the only yum brand to have grown or their sales have grown over the pandemic here. Um, they are the most boring with what they're doing. Me and Ashley wanted to get Pizza Hut tonight and I wanted to film this and then I literally woke up and saw that he had that video uploaded. So I watched it and yeah, I mean, it's kind of like, it's a little bit ridiculous. Like three toppings and just for a little extra buck or whatever. And to be honest guys, they didn't even give me any choice of sauces or anything. So it's gonna depend on the pizza itself. Here we go. My Pizza Hut and the ones around this area are usually pretty darn good. The one in my city that I live in now is the best Pizza Hut I've ever had, though. This may not be that, but you know what? Dropping stuff. Let's try that crust. There's another slice there. I've got bell peppers, pepperoni, and bacon. Like I said, this is literally based on what you like. Um, get whatever you want, though, with this if you decide to do it. Maybe you're in a Pizza Hut mood. Maybe you're just in a pizza mood in general. Spend a little over 10 bucks, get you one large. The beauty of this is it's a large. If it was a medium, it'd be way less of a good deal. But honestly, this pizza is winning me over. I love these toppings. Getting that Pizza Hut sauce flavor is amazing with that pepperoni. Very smokiness. Um, the bacon also is not just like bacon bits. It like seems like pretty legit bacon. However, Pizza Hut prepares their bacon. I don't know. But, and so you can get better bacon elsewhere, obviously. But for a bacon topping on a pizza, it's quite amazing, honestly. A little disappointed by that Parmesan crust, though. The crust doesn't really have much of a Parmesan. It's slightly there. I can tell the difference between this and the original crust but it's 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 there but it could have more if you guys ever go to little caesars you have to try ask for this specific pizza go to little caesars and get your favorite pizza mine's just pepperoni i get a pepperoni with garlic and parmesan crust do not forget that one garlic and parmesan crust you will not regret it i'm gonna let you know my disclaimer we did our other review okay of domino's and new wings yes and we said that people who like garlic parmesan Oh. Are dirty sock lovers and dirty draw lovers and dirty draw lovers. Check that one out. But I might be reborn as a dirty sock and draw lover. Uh, depending on the Little Caesars, though, you might have to pay a little extra. The one that I, my hometown, I grew up in, they would literally put garlic and parmesan crust on it uh, without any charge. 
so that was amazing but the one in the town i live in now does so it depends on your location garlic and parmesan crust changed the game for me with little caesars i will never get a regular little caesars pizza anymore unless it's literally for the sake of a review I'm obviously not going to add anything to disrupt the flavors that it's supposed to have so this has a lot to live up to versus little caesars garlic or parmesan crust although this isn't garlic so maybe that's what i'm missing out of it is it doesn't have much of a much going on with it it's just like a slight parmesan flavor but hey like i said in the travis scott meal review for mcdonald's we are at the mercy as to where and what these places do with the food uh if they can prepare a good version or not sometimes they can't this tonight is a great version of a pizza from pizza hut it just is and obviously i'm gonna be biased because it's toppings that i love but you know what that's the name of the game <laughs> do i agree with poppy eats on the silliness of this deal this is just stupid you pizza hut okay in a way yes but not on that anger level <laughs> the ten dollar tastemaker from me with the kind of thing that you can get and kind of slight mediocre deal that it really is like the travis scott meal i kind of rated it based on like what happened with that burger like i'm not going to spoil that review but i felt a certain type of way about the way it was prepared in this case it's flipped I love this pizza, it's delicious. So therefore, I'm gonna give the $10 Tastemaker deal from Pizza Hut with the quality of the pizza and the deal combined as a rating right at the beginning of a B at an 80. Not the greatest. If this pizza would have sucked, it would have got way lower, like a D or an F grade. But you know what? It kind of is winning me over with the pizza itself. But you could easily just go get this pizza from pizza hut like you could just go get it um highly recommend you guys try mine if you are pizza hut, pizza pe pizza if you're a bell pepper pepperoni and bacon fan try it out try my pizza um or just get whatever you want and for all the review crew out there i highly recommend just review it as literally what you like thank you so much for watching guys like share and subscribe and all that beautiful stuff guys check out my podcast in the description below me and dustin talking about different things you might really enjoy it and you guys will be seeing me in the next one try out peace out